Hey YouTube, here to do a video on my Fendi Peekaboo. Um, it has been very long in coming. A few people have been asking me for it. So here it is. Um, so if you are interested, then just keep on watching. So a little couple of videos ago, I did the haul, hauling this. I got her from The Real Real uh, a few months ago. Um, and I've been loving, loving, loving this bag. It is the perfect size. It is, I've been wanting a Fendi Peekaboo for years now, um, but uh, just didn't get around to it. And uh, these bags new are upwards of $4,000. And I just, it's, that's exceeds my uh, bag limit. Um, so one night I was browsing the real real. Usually I do fashion file, um, but uh, they didn't really have what I was looking for. I had originally wanted a bright color. Um, they didn't have what I was looking for, so I went over to the real real and then I saw this baby and I absolutely loved it, even though it is not a bright color. <laughs> but the Fendi logo in the inside and the way it's already slouched, the gold hardware with this, the dark silver hardware, it just spoke to me. Um, and it was at a good price, so I went ahead and purchased it. Um, and, and it was perfect. The only uh, problems with it were a few uh, corner wear marks, which I am, when I go back to the city for work, I'm gonna drop it off at the leather spa. I don't know if you can see like a little scratch here. Um, there's nothing, nothing significant at all. But so when I, um, if I go to the city, if I feel the need, um, I will go to the leather spa. You can see that wearing there and have them um, just do what they do to fix uh, the, that little corner. But otherwise, she was in perfect condition. Um, the inside was pretty much clean and perfect. Like I said, it already came uh, scrunched, <laughs> you know, slouchy. I love it. Um, I got a good deal on it because it did not come with, the, with its cross body strap, which I don't mind because the crossbody strap that it comes with is very thin anyway. So sometime this year, I'm gonna actually purchase the Fendi logo strap. I'll put a picture in it um, to go with it. Um, and I think the guitar strap, and I think that will be, that'll just be perfect for this bag. It'll be so cool. So um, I got a couple of purchases I wanna do before I get that strap, because this strap is like seven something. So annoying, but it's gonna be like the perfect strap for this bag and I'll be able to actually wear it crossbody as well um, and then update you guys on that. Um, for, so for right now, I use it as an, a handheld bag, crook of the arm bag. It does fit over my shoulder in the summertime, like when I'm not wearing any, uh, anything substantial. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so let's see. You guys know pretty much the Fendi Peekables. This is old. I don't know the year this came out. Um, I'm not sure. It's definitely an older model, which I don't mind because it looks like the newer models are stiffer. So uh, who's to say if it'll ever, if they'll ever, uh, ever slouch. But I love the, the peekaboo, um, the concept of the bag for it to slouch. And I love that this already came slouched on one side. The second side is not slouched. It does, it's still, um, you know, intact. And it has the same, I have stuff in there. It has the same Fendi logo on the other side. Um, the hardware was, you know, a few scratches on the hardware, but it's hardware. So, I mean, that's the nature of hardware. It's going to do that, but nothing that, you know, I couldn't live with. Um, and it was just a perfect bag for me. It has feet, with the Fendi logo on the feet. Um, the enamel, the black enamel with the Fendi. Uh, the Fendi, you know, Fendi does do their uh, branding everywhere. Um, I did add the poof. I also got, I got, I think I got this from the Real Real. I either got it from the Real Real or Fashion File, and it is an authentic Fendi poof. When I saw it, I thought it just went perfectly with this bag with the gold, the gold hair <laughs> and the black. Um, so yeah, that is the overall um, uh, aspects of the bag. Of course, the top handle is not adjustable or detachable. Um, you could, you know, if you didn't want it to slouch, buckle these two sides together um, and it would keep the bag up. 
I wanted to slouch, so I'm okay with that. So let us get into what fits in this baby. I consider this a medium sized bag, medium to large size bag because it does fit a lot. I mean, it has the one compartment in there that's spacious. It's got the zipper pull, so another compartment. And then you've got the back compartment that is also very spacious. Uh, I believe this is goat skin as well. And it has that beautiful dark brown stripe going down the center of it, if you can see that. At the time I bought this, there was a fuchsia color. <gasps> but I, this one really caught my eye. It's just the different metals, the mix of metals with the, the brown Zuka print, I believe it's called, and the brown of the bag. Um, and I don't have many brown bags. Uh, this one just caught my eye the most, so this is the one I went for. So let us see what fits. I'm currently wearing my Coach Ergo bag. Um, and um, really quickly, I just did a video on this and I've got some marking updates. Just did that yesterday. Lovely, lovely. Um, I think I also just did that <laughs> yesterday. Lovely. Oh, the bag smells so good. But again, I don't really mind because this is supposed to be vintage. It's supposed to have you know a vintage feel. Um, for some reason, this bag smells really good more so than most leather, you know, new leather bags. So let's see what fits in this baby. Okay, oh, in here I have my Fendi um, card case that I lives in this bag, but we're just gonna set that aside. All right, so let's see what fits. I've got my Chanel uh, O case, which I am gonna put in that back pocket. I've got my sunglass holder that I'm gonna also put in the, uh, the back pocket this ring key holder I'm going to slip in that back pocket as well so you can see lots of room you can see the Chanel case back there the eyeglass case the keys loads of room loads of room Let's see if I can get a better lots of room in this bag um, and then I'm gonna also put in my um, earbuds holder in that back part too and that should be that should suffice for now. I'm gonna close it up and we're gonna go on the front end. And in the zip pocket, I'm going to keep my uh, coin purse, my round coin purse, and also with that, my card holder. I'm just gonna slip those in the zip pocket and they fit nicely. And then in the And then also in the front pocket for easy access, I'm gonna slip in my phone. I'm currently filming on my work phone, but I, cl clearly that's gonna slip in there. Oh, you can't even see the phone. It's so deep, it's down in there. It's, it's down in there. There, if you can even see that, it, it's all the way down in there. Um, and that slips in for easy access as well. And then I'm gonna throw in a full-size water bottle in there as well with still room to spare. I don't wear a full-size wallet, but clearly a full-size wallet could fit either in here with the water bottle or in the back part, because there's still room in there. Fits all your essentials and more, and it's a great bag. You guys know the Fendi Peekaboo. Um, if you are in the market for it, I'm gonna take that water bottle out because I don't, I tried not to carry water bottles in most of my bags because I don't need a mistake at an accident. So I took the water bottle out. Um, but yeah, um, the Fendi Peekaboos are really cool bags. You can really accessorize them and um, just have fun with them. There are so many colorways and just, it's just a fun bag to have. It's a great option. Pre-loved is a great option because you can get the older models um, for a great price and uh, even find ones that are already slouched and not have the headache of worrying about, you know, slouching it because some of the ones I've seen, um, it looks like it would take years for it to slouch unless you purposely trained it to do it. Um, so yeah, I'm very glad I got it. I love this um, peekaboo, very pretty. Um, and so sorry it took so long to, you know, put up the video, but I had so many other things in between. 
Um, and yeah, that's about it. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will talk to you in my next one. Take care.